This is David Wolford with the Google Guru. Today I'm going to take you through three updates that Google Classroom has added um, as of about the middle of December. So let's go ahead and get started. All of these updates are in the assignment grading screen. So go ahead and click into an assignment you've done. Um, one of the first, well, the first thing that you can change is how you sort students in your view over here. You have done and not done, but if you click the sort status, you can also sort by last name and it takes away uh, done or not done and keeps it more in the same order that your student information system might be in. The second update is that when you go to return an assignment, let's go ahead and click on one to return. And she hasn't done it yet, but that's okay. The second update is you have the option to add a private comment. Um, now you do that. When you return it, not only does it return the work, but it sends them this private comment in there so you can add whatever you need to at this point. And third, and perhaps the biggest update, is how to download the gradebook. We just recently did one that you can download the gradebook through this gear icon in the upper right hand corner into the comma separated value and then open it and it a couple of different steps, but they eliminated one of those steps for you. You click on the gear icon and instead of downloading all the grades to CSV, copy all grades to Google Sheets. And when you do that, it will create a Google Sheet that is placed into your drive for you. And as you can see, it's got this nice, neat, clean format. So you can see through it, it gives you their average, uh, gives the name of the assignment, what your directions were and everything. Um, I th I'm sure that's going to be a, a very popular feature. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below.